What's happening, Mangles? Jimmy Primal here. We've got Bodie Primal with me. We're back in the mangroves, and the objective today is simple. We're going to search every single mud crab hole we can find in these godforsaken mangroves. We're going to be looking for used mud crab holes that look like they're fresh, look like they've got some activity in them. And we're going to be showing you what we look for. We're going to be showing you how we dig the bastards out. We've only been here a couple of minutes and we've already found what we call the jackpot. A couple of mating mud crabs. We'll give you a little look at that. A little bit of fornicating with the muddies. Because you know, nothing puts a bit more blood in the mullet than some fornicating mud crabs. Yeah. There's a little female down there. She's tucked up, she's just been getting some absolute destruction done to her from behind. This little buck here. Oh yeah, there we go with that. We're gonna leave these two lovebirds. We're gonna leave these two lovebirds to keep going on with whatever it is they're doing because we like to see them repopulating the system. They've been up all night and they're, they're pushing through in the morning. God love them, that's some stamina shown right there by these muddies. Not bad. Yeah, we're going to get into it. Brand new episode, Jimmy Primal, Bodie Primal, deep in the mangroves, looking for muddies, getting filthy, getting our mullets dirty. Let's get into it. So have a look at this little stretch we just, I mean, that it feels very close. It's not. It's got like down to your waist in it. Okay. So have a look at this little stretch we just come across here. We've got a heap of little juvenile bucks. One, two, three that I can see. Plus a drop nipper, so they must be battling it out with all their testosterone getting around here. Have a look at this little guy. You got one there. There's the nipper that's been dropped. You got another guy very camouflaged in there. I'll just, I'll just look at this. Yeah, you come, mate. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this one's a little bit bigger. I lost him now, that's it. Well, oh yeah. Have a look at him in the water there. You wouldn't even see him there. We'll wait till we rear him up a bit. Oh, there we go. So they're all through here. They're all little juveniles, way too small. Let's see if we can find a big buck. I've got the Crab Australia, I've got the Crabber Australia um, crab gauge. So we'll get him out and we'll start measuring some big boys. Right. What do we got here? Big dead one. I oh, know, it's alive. Look what we got here. So I just found this big fella. No nippers on him. Poor, poor fella. He'd be having a bit, a bit of a hard time eating. He's all, he's all mushed up there. Yeah, big buck. He would have been good. Yeah, we just found him sitting in the, sitting on the edge of that tiny little creek there. Have a look at the shell. She's all mangled, man. She's all mangled. Oh, I'm gonna give him his best chance to survive. He's going straight back in the drink right there. They will grow back. They will grow back. He can still feed if he scavenges along the ground with those little guys. Have a look at that, see them? He can still get food in the mouth. Definitely not as efficient as with the big nippers, draw and bulk food in, but yeah, that, that, these little, these little um, nippers here come out he can feed himself. So I'm going to put him back in the drink. That could be, that's his little hole there. Yep. That's all pushed up like a muddy hole there. Mm, looks fresh. Tell me. So 
So you can see here, mangles. You can see they've got all the mud pushed up here. And we've got like a deep hole here. That's typical of what you're looking for. So there's something's pushed all that mud up. Oh. Well, there's a dead muddy in there. Now what that could mean is that something bigger has taken over this hole. So let's have a look, eh? Keep my thought. Thanks, mate. So there could be something bigger. There could be something bigger in there because there's a dead muddy there, which is odd. So let's get our hand right up in there and see if we can find what the fuck caused that thing to die. Is there an actual hole? Yeah. Ooh. That is. I don't know if he's alive. There you go. Oh yeah, there we go. He's so he's just shedded mangles. That's what's happened here. This big fella, who is also missing a nipper, have a look at that. He is soft. That's a brand new shell, and that's a big crab. Look how soft he is. He's almost limp because of it. That's a decent crab though. But yeah, he's weak. I might just throw the, throw the Crabber Australia measure on him, just see what he's what, coming in at. So I've got the Crabber Australia measuring gauge. Just gonna see, that's the mud crab there. That's your mud crab gauge there. You go from point to point. And you can see that he would be legal because you've got about over a centimeter of um, width there. So he's legal and he's a fair crab, but his shell is soft, so yeah, we'll give him a fighting chance. He's got one nipper, he's going back in. Gently. There you go, buddy. Right, I don't, I've lost count of how many crabs, but in all honesty, we haven't caught a decent one yet. Right, Mangus, we've got ourselves a donkey of a crab here. Have a look at that. Have a look at that right there. He's only got one nipper by the looks of it, but that is a big crab. Have a look at that. Soft shell there. Have a look at that pulsating because he's got a cracked shell. You see that pulsating through there? Have a look at the size of that nipper. So he's, he's been busted up. He's lost one nipper. He's got a hole in his shell. It's, it's, it's grown back over, but you can see it's soft and it's actually pulsating as he, as he breathes or whatever. That's a huge lollipop on the right. Oh, it's a bit soft. You can check them for fullness. You can see that's clicking in. It's hard on the outside, but you can also check at the back. So you can see his shell's soft. That's one way to see if there's um, a shitload of meat in their, in their nippers, if their nippers are hard or soft. So this guy's had a rough life. 
These crabs through here are absolutely mangled, my kind of thing. I'm gonna let him go. If we find one this size, with two nippers, that's lunch. We can do better. Yeah. Looks like a little female to me. Okay, I had a guess. I'd say it's a little female. Give you a look. Just say she doesn't hurt herself. Oh no, it's a buck. That is a buck. But he's too small. You can tell by that that sharp triangular pattern there that that's a buck. If we come across a Jenny female, they've got a big arching A like that. Got another little muddy here just hiding in the shallows there. That's his hole. He's got, have a look at this. Oh, he's got no nippers either. You can see the new one starting to grow back. Oh, don't let him get mud on it. You can see the new ones growing back. I don't know what it is with this little creek, but all the, all the muddies have no nippers. He's just chilling out, hoping no one's seen him. Not as mangled as the last one, but he's a little, look at that. Oh, they're soft. They're soft. New nippers growing back. So they do, they do grow back. It does take time. I'd imagine that would take a fair amount of time. Yeah. They just look like two little hemorrhoids, don't they? Really, just look like a little pair of hemorrhoids hanging off him. And we all know what they look like. I'm going to throw him back in. That must be his hole there. He can go back in. He doesn't need to come with us. So, so this hole here, you can tell it's been pushed up. Even a few crab marks here. Looks kind of murky, so hopefully there's something in there. Let's have a little look, eh? Oh, yeah, oh, there's a big that, there's a big crab in there, and it could be hard to get out. Get behind him! I'm behind him! I'm, oh, oh, he's on me! Ah. Oh, that's a big cut from a crab there. Nothing from his claw. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's, he's angry. He does not want to come out of this villa. Oh. Dropped his nipper. Uh, nipper down here. Oh. oh, there's another crap. Oh. Okay, so it's two crabs. That's a pretty big cut. That's a pretty deep cut there. These crabs are no joke, Mangles. They are no joke. But that's a good crab. I don't know what that one with no nippers was doing in there. 
Or unless he dropped one on the way out when he bit me. Oh, so she's the female. That's the female. And that's the male. And one of them tore me to pieces in there. I've got a huge gash on the hand there. So the female has no nippers. Seems to be a common occurrence around here. And this male, but we're gonna measure him up. And if he's legal, you can bet your bottom dollar he's coming with us and we're gonna eat. Cause he's torn my hand apart. Yeah, so he's torn my hand apart, getting him out. Have a look at that, you got, he's got my blood on his nipper there. Can you see that? So that's what you get. That's what you get mangles. We get mangled, but we got the crabs. This female's gonna go back and we're gonna put the Crab Australia measuring gu guide on, on this. Cause he got me on the top there as well. That's his there to there, there to there was the grip that he had. And it just shredded the inside of my hand there. So we're gonna measure him. And we're gonna let this female go. We're gonna let the female go. Mangles. He's under. So he's undersized by about half a centimetre. So he's undersized by about half a centimetre, according to the Crabber Guide. I'll tell you what, it's his lucky day because he's, he's ripped me apart and I'd love to rip him apart. But rules are rules. So this little fella, you can see from point to point, they're not touching. See that, see that far side's not touching. Is that my one or your one? Which one turned off? Oh. So we're gonna let him go. You! Well, Mangles, we'll give it our best shot. We caught a fair few crabs. We got ourselves torn up a little bit. We're not going home with a feed today, but that's okay. Also, the objective today was to search every hole and to show you what we look for and how we catch crabs. We caught a few. We won some, we lost some. We'll go home, we'll lick our wounds, and we'll get back out there again. Thanks for viewing, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. We'll put a link down here to another video, one that you're gonna like. I'll put a link to the playlist over here. I'm sure you're gonna find enjoyment out of them too. Thanks for watching, get mangled, get your mullets out, mud crabs and mullets, Bodie Primal, Jimmy Primal, thanks for viewing.